So, so let's look at our sequence uh, one first, okay? So our sequence one was what? One divided by, right? You know, n square, and then <coughs> what we got? Plus uh, one, right? Okay. So here we go. That was one and a half, and here's the whole thing. And you saw the calculation before, right? Mm -hmm. Let's look at sequence uh, two, okay? What was the sequence uh, two? That was pretty easy. That was uh, negative one over two, right? Mm -hmm. To the power, okay? You know, that's how we raise the power, right? Mm -hmm. One, and that's that, okay? So here are all these numbers, right? Then we had sequence uh, three, right? And that is right here. Uh, what that was, that was 1.1 to the power. This guy here, right? Make sense? Okay. So let's just go ahead and see how do these guys look like if we make a graph, okay? So let's see. Okay, sequence two, sequence three. Did I not select the sequence one? Why didn't it give it to us? Well, let's see. Let's do that again. Or we will do it like this here. Then it will display them all. Display them all together, okay? So here, okay, very good. So see, sequence one, two, three. Notice that here? Sequence three, that is this one, it's uh, doing what? Running to infinity, right? Make sense? Okay, so that one is diverging, right? Isn't it? So let's go ahead and get the sequence three out now, okay? And look at the other two guys. If I look at the, look at the other two, okay? And uh, here, we are going too far, so I can't even see the differences so let's just do this here you know uh, limit our plot to that portion only okay so what happens each one of them seem to be converging to what uh -uh, to what zero. zero very nice okay all right so let's look at behaviors of more sequences okay all right okay. in this example I'm going to define a sequence recursively for you. And it is a very famous sequence called Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so here, my first term is one. My second term is one. For the third one, I'll add the first two terms. What do I get? Two. Then I add those two to get the fourth one. What would I have? Three. Three. Then keep, beautiful, then, oops, sorry, eight. Right, and then 13, etc., etc., etc. Tell me this this sequence is going to converge or diverge? This sequence is going to diverge. Beautiful. So let's uh, look at some other properties of this. Okay, so here, let me enlarge these guys and expand these two at least. Okay, so here are our terms, right? So, we will just get a bunch here, okay, all right, oh, just a second, we need to do this here, okay, insert, uh, shoot, froze, right, okay, all right, so there we go, okay, so let's see Fibonacci, okay. Great. Okay. So the first term is 1, right? The second term is? No, 1, right. Okay. And then what happens? I, uh, yeah, I add these two guys, right? Now this thing is uh, distracting us. Okay. So I have to add these. Let's put this down here. Yep. Auto sum. So see, so here, it added those two, right? Okay, now I want to add uh, these guys, right? So let me just say this, sum, okay, this, and what? 
this, right? Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Okay. So let me drag it down. Okay, see, it's adding them all together. And as you suspected, right? As you suspected, this is diverging, right? Notice that? Okay, now let's look at another thing here. And this is like Fibonacci ratios, okay? All right. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, okay? And I am going to take this term, all right, and divide it by the previous term. So tell me what would I get? 1 over 1 is 1. Here, what I, what I will get? 2 over 1 is 2. Then 3 over 2 is 1.5. 5 over 3 is 1.666, etc., etc., et right? So let's see what it tells us. See, it's the same thing, right? Makes sense? But what happens here? These guys are converging to this, and you know, we, we, we will work on its uh, like exact value that's called the golden ratio. Okay? All right? Okay. So let's, we are going to look at another example in a moment. Okay. So tell me what the first term is. One. Minus one is zero, right? Be oh, no, 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 you are, you are right. I'm so sorry. My <laughs> square root of two and then minus one, right? You're right. Absolutely right. Sorry about that, okay? Then in the second term, what do I get? Square root of? 2 square is five, uh, 4, right, and then that would be 5, and then minus 2, right? Yeah. Okay, and then what am I going to get? Square root of 10 minus 3, right? Then I'm going to get a square root of 17 minus 4, right? Then I'm going to get a square root of 20. 6 minus uh, 5. So, my curiosity is this, that what is going to happen eventually, right? Isn't it? Okay, makes sense? So, we will do this. Let's just go to spreadsheet again, okay, and look at the behavior. Okay, so here... Uh, let me enlarge the size, okay. and uh, then I say, okay, calibre is fine, right? Okay. So, and here I'll, I'll enlarge this one, okay? So here we have one, two, right? So let's look at a bunch of values. Okay. And here is my sequence, right? What is my sequence? S Q R T, no, not E T R T, N square, right? Mm -hmm. Plus one, okay, minus N, right? So let's write these guys down. This is uh, S Q R T, right? Uh, I will write it other way around. That way, I mean, it doesn't matter really. Minus what? the same thing, right? Makes sense? Yeah. Okay. So, what does it appear to do? Uh, to zero. Uh, uh, not diverging to zero, say that again. Uh, Con uh, converging uh, to, to zero. Right. Let, let, let's try that out again, just to make sure that it really is uh, doing that, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, it's getting smaller and smaller, right? Okay. So, it appears so appears that this uh, guy converges to what zero now say we have we, we want to verify that really I mean of course we saw an inductive all right we saw an inductive reasoning right so how do we handle that? See, we got that, right? Now, we can do this, that try do, try 
rationalizing, okay, this term, okay, rationalizing means, say, you know, we are getting, going to get rid of the square root sign here, right? So, we multiplied here by this quantity, so we will divide by the same quantity, right, okay, and now what happens? The square, uh, this will be what? I don't know why am I going so fast, I don't have to, right? Okay, come on. Here we go. Okay, then excuse me, minus n. Beautiful. And then downstairs, uh, what I have? I have uh, this guy, right? Okay. And then what happens is beautiful. Okay, that will go away, right, and minus n square, and the whole thing divided by this, oops, right, uh, this quantity, okay, and of course that will go to what, zero, right, make sense, okay, very nice, and that goes to zero. Now, let me just change this to a slightly different question, okay? And here we go. Okay, which example? Five. Sorry about that. Okay, so let me say example six. And why don't I let you work with this, okay? I'm doing this. I'm making a very, very slight change here, okay? Changing this to n. All right, why don't you take like five minutes and tell me your thoughts about it and try doing it through expression, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so now we are looking at this guy, right? Mm -hmm. So the first uh, term would be what? Uh, it's well, it'll be the same as before, square root of two minus one, right? The second term would be, si uh, yeah, very good. You are saying it right. Say that again. Six mi square root of six minus the value two, right? Beautiful. Okay. Then we got uh, yes. Square root of three. Good. And give me one more term. Twenty. Good. And that's how it's approaching, right? So let's uh, look at the behavior of this guy, all right? So now this time we are going to write this sequence squared. Let me just enlarge the font size, okay? All right, okay, and okay, so this is a square root of, okay, n square plus n, right, oops, sorry about that, plus uh, n minus how much? Simply n, right? Okay, so we got, oops, we got S Q R T. okay, this value plus, right, the same value is square, so, mm, right minus this value again we got that this which is the same but now what happens instead is does it converge it does appear it converges right where it converges what it does it converge to now hmm? yeah tell me it doesn't converge to zero anymore right okay what does it appear to do beautiful point five, right? Okay. So, uh, let's just mimic the same thing that we did before, okay? It's late in the afternoon, so we can take it easy, right? So, here we go. So, we got this, right? Okay. So, we'll put this here and tell me what do I multiply it by? Hmm? By the, by the conjugate of this, we, right? So, we got this, right? And uh, then what we have, okay, then we have this, right? And then uh, what happens? You did that already, right? Okay. 
so we have this minus n square over this quantity n square simply cancel right so what happens here then we have n over all this right now you can handle it in many different ways okay that is one way could be this that is uh, I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by who and very good so let's do that okay so upstairs I got n over n right and downstairs I will I can write it like this right see this here because this is n and here n over n right makes sense okay so n over n and then this is 1 over this thing and plus how much plus a 1 beautiful okay and then we got what one, oops sorry about that 1 over now let's take we can do yeah let's do it this way if we brought this under the square root what that n will become hmm? say we stretch the square I mean we can either pull an n square from that square root and we know it's positive so that will be positive or this will become what what should I change it to uh -huh. see this here I wrote this quantity equal to this counted quantity and this is still blinking because you can see there was no square root here right so what should I write here uh -uh n to the 1 this is already n to the 1 n to the mm -hmm. see a square root of what is n n is a positive integer here right so mm -hmm. say that again okay yep. take your time okay so this is yes uh -huh n square right so this is oops sorry about that so, okay so here we go all right so now I can split it as n square over n square is 1 right and n over n square is 1 over n right so where does it go to then 1 over this quantity becomes how much 1 then the other quantity is 1 so this will be what 1 over 2 right and that's where the sequence is converging to right make sense 